Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review affordable school fountain pens, new fountain pens. This time I have for you a product from China. It comes in this nice little package and you see the price on it. I paid six lays for it. So approximately 1.22 euros or 1.49 American dollars. As you can see, it comes in this package, a wonderful little package. On the front of it, we have written in English some copyright from 2018, Kim Jiho All Rights Reserve. You can see by the transparent package that we have a fountain pen and uh, four ink cartridges included. It is made by iHow, as you can see on the back, and the model number is 325025. We have here an email address of the iHow producer. We have also a producing date, so it was produced on the 20th of August 2019. Another uh, team or the nickname of the number spring is coming you can see it has this theme of the cherry blossom quite quite nice and floral patterns we have on the back some uh, written instructions for the cartridge and piston filling mechanisms this uh, hasn't a piston included and um, i'm looking at it and now when i look at it it is 2029c so maybe this is the model number and this is uh, another thing written in chinese i'm not so sure but without further delay let me open it and I will show you. Yes, indeed, I was right. So the number, the model number is 2029C. So we have an iHow 2029C with this spring or floral theme. Let me see how I can open it. <laughs> It should open quite easy if I can find the ending. Yes, look at it. Oh, a little bit of pressure and the first, the cartridges, I will leave them here. And this is the fountain pen. I have to tell you guys that I like, like, like uh, this model. And at this price of one euro and twenty euro cents or one point fifty American dollars, I think it is quite quite a nice nice model. It's uh, interesting to look at the cap first. It is all transparent and I like it a lot. It has also this plastic material which ends in this spring. I'm not so sure about the utility of the spring. Maybe to do, it puts pressure when, uh, yes, you can see, look, yes. So it has to do with the pressure fit system. The pressure fit system has these four, let's uh, call them um, bumps. And uh, they simply facilitate the closing of the cap with that click sound you don't need a lot of force like you need on other models to open it it's quite easy to open let me continue guys with the beautiful steel nib we have this beautiful beautiful steel nib no imprints on it no imprints at all okay at the back of the nib we have a gray plastic feed and you can see we have this 
an interesting, interesting system of the feed. You can see lots, lots of lines, and this makes sure to use all the ink cartridge available. All the ink available in the cartridge. It's quite an innovative system, which holds quite, quite a nice amount of ink. The transparent barrel is quite, quite nice to see. In fact, I recently reviewed another fountain pen and we will see if uh, I can adapt the converter from that fountain pen to this fountain pen. We have the name, we have some roses and other plants. The cap on screws. It appears it doesn't have any holes, so maybe it would be a nice project to fill it all with ink and see what happens. It's certainly a bit without holes. And I think that. No, it has some holes. Let me test it. Oh yes, at the end it has those holes, so definitely not a project to fill it all with ink. But not a problem, it is what it is, it is an unbelievable price. So guys, if you have time, I'm searching for the other fountain pen. So I reviewed recently on my channel this fountain pen. Also a Chinese fountain pen. And now I'm quite curious to see if I can fit the converter from this one to the other one. Let me pull it off. Should be quite an easy pull. And now let me see if I can fit it to this. Yes, it fits. It fits, guys. So I'm not going to bother with the ink cartridges, I know they write. I will try to write with it because I've inserted it like this. It might be a problem with the ink flow. We will see in a minute. Let me show you how it can close and I hope it closes. Yes, quite, quite nice. So uh, an interesting, interesting compatibility between different producers of instruments in China. So from this producer to the other one. Let me close this and put it aside. We will wait for a few moments for the ink to, to reach the nib section. Till then, I have here a Lamy 2000. You can see them side by side. And I will also leave the dimensions of this iHow product on the screen. Now I will take the ink cartridges and the package and I will put them aside. And now I think I am ready for the writing sample. Of course, for the writing sample, I will change the angle of the camera. I want you guys to clearly see what I am uh, writing. Okay. So let me put this here. First of all, I will show you that this can be posted quite, quite nice. And this is a I how I how the model model is number two zero two nine C and its nickname spring is coming this is a wonderful wonderful product made in china let me give you a little zoom yes so made in china by the way guys the ink is a faber Castel Turquoise Ink. Okay. 
the nib is a steel nib a quite smooth nib steel nib I think it's an M M for medium medium it doesn't appear to have an iridium tip so just it's a simple simple steel nib but uh, a quite nice nib let me show you some line values so first of all this isn't a flexible nib no flex to it you can see we don't have a line variance but in my opinion I think it is quite quite a juicy juicy nib hmm. <laughs> Uh, it arrives quite juicy, but it appears that uh, you, you solve it for yourself. It doesn't leave many, many marks when I pull my finger on it. Okay, guys, let me do a reverse writing. So, reverse writing. Definitely an yes. An yes. And in reverse writing, it writes like an F, like a fine nib for fine. Okay, guys, let me do also a signature with this beauty. Review. Yes, it does quite, quite nice. And now I will tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog guys i'm quite quite impressed with this beauty i like it a lot i like the fact that it is like a demonstrative fountain pen you can see the ink traveling through the barrel till it reaches the feed and the nib. It is a wonderful, wonderful piece. Quite an affordable piece. Again, uh, it uh, only costs six lace. So, approximately 1.22 euros or 1.49 American dollars quite quite an affordable fountain pen guys and i definitely recommend such a fountain pen for school use for students and for person that are on a limited budget and why is that because it has a great great nib because you can buy yourself 10 of those and uh, just use them till you don't have ink in the cartridge uh, I'm not saying to dispose of them, but maybe after you use them for a while, you for a while you can give them as gifts to your friend or maybe to other school children that don't have the possibility of buying a new one. Indeed, all those fountain pens that you can see on my channel, I will um, give them away to school children and um, I think that they will have a better home in their little hands to learn how to write. And when you learn to write, uh, when you have a smooth nib like this, it shouldn't be a problem. Guys, this was my review. I want to thank you for your time. I wish you to have a nice, Day, wherever you are if you've enjoyed this review please subscribe to my channel to support my activity i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye guys and please take care of yourselves